This session is an introduction to exposure and specifically aperture and shutter speed. I'm going to demonstrate using this 35 millimeter SLR because I feel that the controls on here make it much easier to visualize what aperture and shutter speed are and what they do. So if we look at the top plate on this camera, you can see very clearly we have a control here for shutter speed and on the lens for aperture. There's also a place to set the film speed or ISO, which is through a small window here. In this session, I'm not going to bring ISO in, in terms of exposure. I want to concentrate on the relationship between shutter speed and aperture. And if I open the back of the camera up, we'll be able to see quite clearly how the aperture affects the amount of light that gets through, in this case, to the film or on a digital SLR through to the film sensor. I'm going to set the shutter speed to B setting, which is stands for bulb. And what that allows you to do, as long as the shutter button, shutter release is pressed down, the shutter will stay open. So here you can see the aperture is changing. Well, how do the numbers relate to that uh, change in aperture. Well, the widest aperture on this lens is 1.8. So that is a rep aperture of 1.8. There's actually a very, very small change, which is to an aperture of two. So we'll start at two, which is there. Then I'll change to F2.8 or aperture 2.8. F4, aperture of four, 5.6. Eight, 11, 16, and finally 22. We go back around to the top of the camera. You can see exactly what I just did. From 1.8, there's a very small change to an aperture of two, then 2.8, four, 5.6, eight, and on all the way to 22. Now, I'm going to note down those apertures here, starting with an aperture of 2.8. Then we had 4, 5.6, and 8. I'm going to take those four apertures as my example. So 2.8, f2.8, f4, f5.6, and f8. We can represent the light coming through the lens from here at its brightest, where the aperture is widest, to less light or at its dimmest when the aperture begins to get smaller. So let's represent that light by a straight line. Each time the aperture changes by one f-stop, one full aperture, it's actually half as much light. So if we take the change from 2.8 to four, if that represents the amount of light we get at 2.8, then at f4, we get half as much light. And from f4 to 5.6, it's half as much light again. And from 5.6 to f8, it's half as much again. This is really fundamental to understanding exposure. Let's turn to the shutter speeds. I'm going to open the back again and just see what happens as we change the shutter speeds. Let's start at a shutter speed of one second, the longest shutter speed. So release the shutter. The shutter opens for one second and then closes. Let's take a slightly faster shutter speed of a quarter of a second. So it opens and closes quicker, letting less light through. Let's change that to the 30th. And as we get what we call faster and faster shutter speeds here, 125th of a second, it's almost too fast for you to see. 
and upwards to 500, a one five hundredth of a second. So let's represent that down here. I'm going to put uh, one five hundredth of a second here. One five hundredth of a second, representing a fast shutter speed. In other words, a shutter speed where the shutter blades open and close very quickly, letting a small amount of light through because they are open for a short amount of time. So I'll represent that by a very short line. If we change that to one two hundred and fiftieth of a second, that is a shutter speed, or the shutter is open for twice as long. From a five hundredth of a second to one two hundred and fiftieth of a second, the shutter is now open for twice as long, and it's going to let through twice as much light. Change again to one one hundred and twenty fifth of a second, which now lets through twice as much light as one two hundred and fiftieth of a second and on to one sixtieth of a second, which lets through twice as much light as one one hundred and twenty fifth of a second. So what we're seeing in this diagram here is a, a doubling or a halving of the amount of light each time you change one full aperture or one full shutter speed. So from the 2.8 to the four, it lets through half as much light. To 5.6, it's half as much light. To f8, it's half as much light. From 1 500th of a second to 1 250th of a second, it's twice as long, twice as much light. Once you understand theory of shutter speeds and apertures, you then need to put the two together because it's a combination of shutter speed and aperture that give us our exposure. And I've set these out in the way I have for a particular reason because you may have already noticed that with a wide aperture, letting a bright amount of light through the lens, I've got a very short shutter speed. And with a relatively small aperture, letting less light through the lens, I've got a relatively long shutter speed. And that is because these combinations together let through the same amount of light. It's the same exposure. This combination will let through the same amount of light, either a bright light for a short amount of time or a dimmer, duller, less light for a longer time. They let through the same amount of light. Once you have grasped this idea of the relationship between shutter speed and aperture, you're well on your way to understanding exposure.